By being humans, one thing that we all have in common is aging. Being youth seldom blinds us from this truth, but the extra candles on our birthday just reminds us of it every year. The grey hairs, wrinkles, muscle weakness and poor health associated with aging simply makes us fear and dislike aging. From an evolutionary perspective, why is aging, a programmed process leading to the death of an organism, is selected over its immortality? Why is aging a programmed process at the first place? With the advancements in molecular biology, can we stop aging? Can humans actually become immortal? Maybe one day we will. Well, in our discussion today, we will see in the world of aging, what does molecular biology say? In talk about aging, we can never skip the reactive oxygen species, the ROS. They are produced as byproducts during mitochondrial electron transport chain or by oxidoreductase and methyl catalyzed enzymes. In the cellular reactions, when an oxygen molecule is reduced by taking up an electron, superperoxide, a precursor of most ROS species, is produced. The most common ROS species are superperoxide anions, peroxides, hydrogen peroxides, and hydroxyl radicals. When ROS is overproduced, overwhelming the intrinsic antioxidant capacity, there is an imbalance between the ROS production and its elimination. This is oxidative stress to the cell. These ROS later damages lipid, DNA, RNA, and proteins, which eventually leads to aging. In this story, antioxidant actually becomes the heroes to save the day by defeating the ROS. There are two types of antioxidants, namely enzymatic and non-enzymatic antioxidants. An example of enzymatic antioxidant is superperoxide dismutase, shortly known as SOD. It catalyzes the dismutation of superperoxide radical into oxygen and hydrogen peroxide molecules. Even though hydrogen peroxide is another ROS, it can later be degraded into water and oxygen by the enzyme catalase. However, in reality, the oxidative damage potential by ROS is far greater than the antioxidant defense of the cell. Several experiments conducted with control and transgenic animals in genes promoting the expression of SOD have proved that the transgenic animals with overexpressed SOD live longer compared to the wild type ones. Such an experiment is the experiment using C. elegans, a type of roundworm. The transgenic roundworm had a mutated H1 gene which codes for the negative regulator of SOD. In the absence of this negative regulator, more SOD were present and this caused the mutant to live two times longer than the wild type ones. Which means, if we have more antioxidants, we could possibly live longer. This is where we are being promoted to get antioxidant treatments and to buy the over-the-counter antioxidant supplements such as vitamin C, E, beta-carotene and other multivitamins. However, in some recent studies showed that the antioxidant treatment has no effect and can even increase the mortality rate. A study by Rizzo and co-workers showed that the nutritive antioxidant completely abolished the extension of lifespan by inhibiting the mitochondrial hormesis, shortly known as mitohormesis. It is a biological response where a reduced amount of mitochondrial stress leads to an increment in health and viability within a cell, tissue or an organism. This biological response is a natural way to counteract the oxidative stress. Mitohormesis can provoke the intrinsic capability of a body for antioxidant production rather than supplying exogenous synthetic antioxidants. This experimentally proven concept means that low levels of ROS can actually improve the systemic defense mechanism by in inducing an adaptive response. When mitochondrial oxidative stress is induced in the system, mitohormesis induces the gene expression for antibody production. The inductions are actually increases the cellular resistance to subsequent more severe stress by enhancing the levels of endogenous antioxidants. Some ROS mediated low dose signaling includes calorie restriction, hypoxia, temperature stress and physical activities. 
Beside mitohormesis, a simple way to stay young is to sleep sufficiently in a dark room to increase the production of melatonin, which is an antioxidant itself. The next factor that causes aging is the molecular clock that counts the number of allowed cellular replications before reaching senescence. Oh, and we have it in our chromosomes? Yes, I'm talking about telomeres. Telomeres are repeating TTAGGG sequence which seals the chromosomes. During every cycle of replication, these ends cannot be replicated by DNA polymerases. And without corrective measures, cell division will result in loss of parts of chromosomes. This is corrected by telomerase, an enzyme which prevents the shortening of the chromosome by extending the telomeric repeat sequences. The notion of telomere shortening causing cell senescence is proved by experiment that showed limited shortened telomeres and replicative capacity of cells which had low telomeres activity. Do you know that human liver tissues lose 55 base pairs of telomeric DNA per year? And in average, 24 to 27 telomere base pair is lost per year in humans. This is because most of our body cells do not have telomeres. Knowing this, we can conclude that if we have longer telomere, then we could possibly postpone aging. The question now is, how can we lengthen our telomeres? A small pilot study in 2013 had 10 participants to make lifestyle changes, including following a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and managing stress. Five years later, these 10 participants had longer telomeres compared to the 25 other participants who did not make those lifestyle changes. This was strengthened by a study in 2018 that showed adults who ate more fiber had longer telomeres and a study in 2006 that showed participants who were exposed to stresses and responded to them had increased cortisol levels and increased telomere shortening for several years. Thus, we can lengthen our telomeres by simply opting for a healthier lifestyle. So in conclusion, with the advancements of molecular biology, we have methods to slow down aging, but we have not yet found a way to prevent aging. Ultimately, leading a healthy lifestyle with balanced diet, exercising and reducing stress levels can slow down the cellular aging. Few decades ago, cancer was incurable, but now, the world has witnessed thousands of cancer survivors. This can happen for aging as well. With science, only imagination is our true limitation. As Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Thank you.